Hi everyone, Alan Johnson with the AJ team here at Keller Williams Realty. Today we're going to talk about why over the next three months are the best time for you to buy an investment property here in Northern Virginia. Okay, today, so we're only going to talk about one thing. We're going to talk about buying and holding. Um, I think this is the season to buy and hold. Um, I think if you're looking to buy and flip, I think that season has passed or you have to be a very, very seasoned investor to be able to kind of stem a shifting market when it comes to buying and flipping. So today we're going to talk about buying and holding and why right now is, I think, arguably one of the best chances, the best times over the past, I would say, five to six years to buy an investment property here in Northern Virginia. The first reason, the money's cheap. I recently bought an investment property and I got an interest rate of under 4.5%. If you look historically at rates, um, you are never going to get a rate cheaper than that when it comes to buying an investment property. I've seen cheap properties, cheap uh, interest rates for multifamilies, for commercial properties, for standard residential buy holds. Um, and, and when you're thinking about buying and holding an investment property, people are always thinking about what price can I get it at? What price can I get it at? Well, it, if you're looking to buy and hold, it's really not about price, right? You do want to get a great deal, but it really is about the rate. The rate controls so much more than your sales price, right? Because if you're holding a property over 15 years or 20 years or, or, or 25 years, you're going to be paying the mortgage down anyway, or the tenant's going to be paying the mortgage down for you anyway. That rate has a greater effect on the overall investment property than the sales price does. Okay. All right. Number two, winter offers and winter sellers. Okay. Winter offers tend to be a little bit more aggressive and, and winter sellers tend to be a little bit more desperate when it comes down to selling a home. So between now and let's say, you know, December, maybe the beginning of January, there are investors out there that have to move money or have to move properties to get into other properties or to be able to liquidate assets. If you're looking to buy an investment property, that is a good, good thing for you because you can, can you can take advantage of that. OK, so that's some things that you want to think about. All right. Um, last last couple things you want to think about uh, what to buy. You know, I get that question all the time. What, what, what should I buy? Well, that really depends on your plan. Right. Everyone has a different plan. I'm buying and holding townhouses and multifamily properties, okay? But my plan may be very different than your plan. I'm a hands-on landlord. You know, I, I, I manage my own properties. Um, you know, I, I build value in those types of things. That may not be what you can do. I'm a full-time real estate professional. You may be someone who can't manage a property like I manage a property. So everyone's plan is a little bit different. So that's why we need to sit down and talk to you a little bit about what your investment plans are so we can get you aligned with the right type of investment property. And last but not least, cash on cash return. How much of an investment, you know, how much money do you want to get back on the, on, on the money that you're, you're investing in real estate? Um, that's a calculation that we can sit down and, 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 and calculate with you. Um, but when rule of thumb for me, um, look at the interest rate that you guys are, or look at the rate of return you're getting on your money if you sit it in your bank in a CD or in a savings account or, or a mutual or a mutual um, account. So, you know, roughly you're getting between one and maybe two percent. Um, I'm seeing cash on cash returns here in Northern Virginia of over seven, eight percent when it comes down to buying investment properties. So when you think about your, your money holistically, think about if you have $100,000 and you only get 1% on it, 1% on it year over year, or you got $100,000 and you're getting 8% or 7% on it year over year, and what you're not also calculating when it comes to an investment property is the write-offs and depreciation. You're also not, not, not uh, calculating the appreciation of the actual asset. So when you bring all of those things into account, you can easily get over 10% cash on cash for cash on cash return. So if you're, if you have money sitting, sitting around in your TSP or in an investment account, and it's just, it's not getting the rate of return that you're thinking about. And you are a, let's say a five to, to, to 20 year window where you want to invest that property. You, you would be foolish not to look at real estate, uh, investing here in Northern Virginia. I've got a story, um, of, of, a, uh, we just settled, uh, yesterday on a, uh, on one of our clients that bought his 10th investment property with the AJ team.
game. Um, you know, he knows what he wants. He makes a decision, um, and, and, and he's reaped the benefit. So if you know anyone out there who's thinking about investing in, in real estate, let's sit down and talk to them. Um, you know, I, I firmly believe that this is, a, this is a value add that the AJ team gives our clients. We're not just looking to, to help you buy or sell a, a residential property. We also want to help you build wealth, and I think that's one of the things that really makes us different. So you have the dream. We have the address, Alan Johnson with the AJ team, and we will see you soon.